Well, linked to that, the International Federation of Christian Churches is not happy with the newly adjusted COVID-19 regulations. Earlier this week, President Cyril Ramaphosa announced that churches and other gatherings really can be filled up to 50% capacity, but under the condition that congregants are fully vaccinated or have a negative diagnosis not older than 72 hours. The Federation is rejecting this. They say it infringes on religious freedom guaranteed in the country's constitution. Let's, unspec uh, let's unpack rather uh, their uh, objections. Uh, the International Federation of Christian Churches uh, Secretary General Pastor Giet Koza joins me now for that conversation. So I see that, uh, Pastor G, that you are vociferous in your rejection of the latest uh, you know, regulations as announced by President Cyril Ramaphosa. What do you find to be particularly problematic about them? Thank you so much, Tulas, for inviting us. We appreciate the opportunity and greetings to the viewers. Yeah, I think uh, the announcement by the president really took us by surprise because, to use his own words, we were shocked. Um, in fact, we had two meetings, one with the minister in, in, the, in his office, Minister Monli Ngungubele, and one with the uh, deputy president. In both meetings, we said, don't go the vaccine mandate. Uh, don't go the vaccine, because this will bring into conflict between you and us, and not only that, with our members. So to us, if you think about it, think about a church in a deep rural, trying to examine the proof of vaccination. Where do they start? What do they look for? What does the certificate look like? Even here in, in the urban areas churches, what do we look for? Who's going to give us the infrastructure to actually start doing this? That's just on the operational level. On the, on the next level, in terms of the strategic, or what we're trying to do, the churches were at the forefront to supporting the government on vaccine. Some churches even have the site uh, where people can be vaccinated, but the strategy is you encourage people to vaccinate, not, uh, not, not command them, not tell them. So in our meetings, we're very clear. So the consultation happened between uh, the two parties, but we're not even given the feedback to say, we have decided we're going to go ahead and do this anyway. Mm. Even though we have told them the dangers, and we use this strong word, we said, if you go this route, it will be unwarranted provocation in the faith community. And they've done that now. And so we are in this, we've been put in a difficult position to us where we have to part ways with our own government because we, we, they couldn't listen to us. You That's cannot discriminate... Yeah, go ahead. Pastor Giet, one of the issues you raise has to do with the operational difficulties of uh, confirming, you know, a person's vaccination status. And I, I, I can imagine a counterpoint that says, well, you know, it's not as difficult as you are saying it is because um, that's available digitally and many people have downloaded that and people have smartphones uh, in many parts of the country. Many, many people, not everyone, of course, has access to a smartphone, but many people do. And it's simply a matter of... Uh, showing and flashing that um, and then being given entry. But also even in the rural areas, many people have cell phones um, and also those actual physical cards at the point at which you were vaccinated, that, that, that's readily available, uh, that was given at vaccination sites. So there could be a counterpoint that says at, at yeah. the operational level, it's really not as difficult as you are presenting it. Well, you were talking to Colin, now Advocate Colin, about the bridge. We are just churches. How do we identify a fraudulent and the one that is true? We won't even know the difference. People are, are way ahead in terms of fraudulent, how they do things. We won't even know. And then the second point, which how do you deny someone coming to church on the basis of they are not vaccinated or vaccinated? So we have to divide, it divide our congregation members on the basis of unvaccinated of vaccinated. The Bible doesn't teach us that. And uh, secondly, then when you have this division, the government wants us to make the police on their behalf. 
So we put us a police to police this thing. And we think uh, whoever is advising the president, the team there, they're really ill advising on this one. We totally reject it. We're not going to go with it. We're going to continue with the measures that are there. And by the way, to us, you'll see in our statement, we quoted um, Professor uh, Shabir Mad. He said these measures are outdated. They failed in any case in the past. He called them inconsistent, illogical. And, and, and that science, the question is, why the religious sector? And we have come to this conclusion, by the way. We feel that we are being targeted because why other sectors is the double standard, the restaurant, the cinemas, the gyms yeah. that are being allowed without that condition. Quickly, so and lastly, quickly and lastly, Pastor Giet, then, what is the alternative cause that you believe should have been pursued um, in a situation where we, you know, we may be in a situation where um, the impact um, on, on health and, and, and the health infrastructure is not as dire as previous waves uh, of COVID-19, but COVID-19 still uh, continues to uh, circulate in our communities, right? The pandemic has not gone away and vaccination levels are really low. Well, they're not where we want them to be. What is the alternative path that you would have wanted to see? Okay. The alternative path, partner with us, Let's encourage the people to continue to vaccinate. Simple as that. We continue wearing the mask, the one meter distancing, you still apply ventilation in a room, you still apply. But this manner is which the government have taken, we find it very unacceptable. And we're not going to comply with this. But we'll continue with the mask, we'll continue with the distancing, and, and that's it. That's all we're going to do. And then we'll reach out to them to see if we can find each other. But we are completely rejecting it. We're not going to implement it. Absolutely no, no. Wow. Very strong words. Thank you for that. That's Pastor Giet Kozade. Uh, he is the Secretary General of the International Federation of Christian Churches. You heard it for yourself there uh, towards the end, saying absolutely no, no. They are simply not going to comply, particularly with the regulation that says, um, you know, venues up to 50 percent uh, on condition that people present a proof of vaccination or a test result that's negative that's not older than 72 hours.